I'm laughing because I just recorded an entire video in slow motion. <laughs> Anyways, I think I can still edit it. Anyways, I'm making this video because, 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 because I want to share with you something that made me really happy. I just bumped into this YouTube channel new for me. Probably you already know him. He goes by the name of The Raw Boy. I checked his Instagram page as well. He has a really great page with lots of wonderful recipes. Very intuitively put together. I identify a lot with him on that regard because he's playing like an alchemist in the kitchen. And that's the way I also do my own recipes. very similar. Our, Our spirits, spirits are, are very similar. similar. I identify a lot with him because he's sharing his journey from a very innocent place, very truthful as well. In my opinion, because I have gone through the same exact things that he shares on his transition, adopting a raw vegan diet and sticking with it. All the things he shares are very inspiring for me. And also, the way he does it is very funny. I love his strong Mexican accent. <laughs> Un mexicanito. <laughs> I love that. My background is also from Latin America, so this is another Azoga! Azoga! <laughs> thing that we have in common. And I, well, I hope he doesn't mind me taking his footage and uploading on my YouTube channel, sharing him with my audience. <laughs> Also because many of you have been asking for recipes. And I've been really lazy to record my recipes and upload videos. I hope I can do that. I hope I can be more diligent with my videos. And I know there is still a couple of videos pending. One Q&A with my husband. I'm on it. Don't think I have forgotten about it. No, we actually tried it a couple of times. It's winter. Yeah. So, must you mind if Yeah. Yeah. But our camera keeps overheating, so we are getting a new camera, a better camera to do this. So, this is my introduction to the raw. <laughs> I hope you like him. Hey guys, as promised, today I'm gonna give you guys an update on how I feel after eating raw for two months, almost 100% raw. I just feel wonderful. I mean, that's all I have to say about my weight. Yeah, everything's disappearing. All the fat is going away. <laughs> I just feel thinner. I feel thinner than day one. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I talk too fast. I do have like a thick accent sometimes or all the time. Speedy, mi amigo! Or you guys tell me. And if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about or anything like this, I was raw vegan for three and a half years and then I stopped. And there's a video for that and I'll leave the link below so you guys can check out that video too. And then there's a video why I went back to raw. Okay, so it's like all over the place. I'll leave the links there so you guys can check them out if you're new to my channel or you haven't seen them or anything like that. But for right now, I've been back at Raw for 60 days. So I'm gonna talk about my weight and how I feel physically or look physically, my digestion, my skin, my energy levels and physical endurance, my attitude, my sleep, my appetite. Let's start, because I'm nervous too. I'm even sweating. I'm gonna show you guys some clips from previous vlogs and some before and after pictures so you guys can see them and things like that, okay? so let's with digestion if you guys seen my blog since the beginning you noticed that I complained so much about digestion the first couple of two or three weeks I just was not having good digestion my body was going through a detox and I was farting all the time and I was just 
not going to the restroom properly and it was just hell like let me show you some clips okay i was hungry and i just didn't want to like eat anything because i'm scared i'm gonna get bloated again or gassy or stuff like that but i mean I i'm hungry i have to eat something right everything was going pretty smooth and i started getting gassy i started getting bloated and then I just couldn't sleep. So now it's been two months. Digestion is amazing. I go to the restroom three to five times a day. It's such a relief every time I go to the restroom. I don't even have to like push or force myself or anything. It just comes out naturally. It, it feels really good. Digestion has changed drastically since the first day to day 60. My body has been assimilating everything. It's loving it, pretty much. It's loving. My body's loving the veggies, the fruits and everything. And it's just loving this lifestyle again. I know it's gonna keep on getting better because I've done this before and it, everything just keeps on getting better. But I'm really excited and happy with the results so far. So now let's talk about skin. There's a video about how I got rid of my cystic acne. Before I went vegan, I used to suffer from cystic acne. But compared to day one, now to day 60, I feel like my skin looks like clear it looks like my pores are getting smaller I feel like my my skin is getting a different tone like sort of like a like a glowing if you want to call it that it, it just looks more bright it's changed a lot over the past two months when I went back to cook foods and you guys can watch that video it didn't completely went back to like cystic acne or anything like that but I could feel my skin a little bit rough and that my acne scars showing up more and my pores and things like that more oily now that I've been eating raw again it's like my face is going back to normal and it's, it just it feels pretty amazing i'm gonna talk about energy levels and physical endurance since day one you can see from my blogs that i was not even able to run like half a mile i, I totally forgot how hard it's to run outside i've been running for 20 minutes but i've been stopping every five minutes like fuck I just got back from running and I only did a mile. I was not feeling it today. I did like 10 laps inside like a tennis score and I was like, I can't do this. Like, that was it guys. 10 laps, 10 sprints. And honestly, I couldn't do more. I was just like, fuck this. My energy levels for the first month, they just, they were going everywhere. They were just like, boom. And then on the second month, I've been noticing that my energy levels are more stable and it just feels amazing. And energy levels are like, boom, skyrocketing right now. And I just feel great. I go for runs, I go for longer runs, I go for faster runs. I feel stronger when it comes to like running and I feel like I can go faster and it, energy levels, they went from zero to like a hundred. And it's crazy what eating this way can do to your body in like just two months. Obviously I struggle over the first month because my energy levels just were everywhere. I was not feeling myself. But now that my body has been getting used to it, energy levels are back, they're stable and I love it. It feels great to just have energy all the time. Okay, I'm gonna talk about my attitude. On the first couple of blogs or first couple of weeks, you can see that I was complaining all the time because I was just not having a great time. My body was going through a detox or whatever freak is going on with my body right now. This is no fun, guys. I feel like I was more negative before. I was very critical with myself. I was not enjoying it. My attitude was like on the floor. I was not feeling good. I would just get annoyed for everything. I would get angry at everyone. And I was very cynical, very pessimistic. And it was, it was not fun. I was like, oh, this is me. This is just me, right? But no, it was the way I was eating. Now that I've been eating this way for the past two months, my attitude has changed so much. I wake up in the morning every day. Like I feel like I have a purpose now. I feel more optimistic about my days, about myself. And I, I'm really positive when it comes to my days and what I'm gonna make and everything just changed. My attitude did like a 160 degree change and like I'm more happy about everything. I, I take into account every single thing and I have always been that person but when I start eating junk food, like my body just tends to like shut down. Now that I've been eating really well, I feel like I'm so happy all the time and, and sometimes it's, it might seem like I'm exaggerating but I'm not. It's just like there's so much happiness in me and even saying hi to my neighbor or to walking out Mia, having orange juice for breakfast, waking up every morning, being able to breathe and for telling my parents I love them, my siblings and people I love and you guys. It's just, it's, it's been crazy and I just feel very exciting, very happy for what's going on right now. Now we're gonna talk about my sleep. On the first couple of vlogs you can also see how much I complain about sleep that I just couldn't sleep at and I was having the worst time sleeping. Just, I'm just hoping for me to be able to sleep tonight. Well, it's not that I'm, I'm not in a good mood. It's just like I'm, I feel tired and I just wanted to go to bed. I would just get sometimes three hours or four hours of sleep and I would just, I just, I didn't know what to do with myself. I just couldn't sleep at all. My sleeping pattern was out of control. Now my sleeping pattern is I'm so restful. It's so nice every time I go to bed. Like it's so peaceful and calm. Even though I go to bed late because that's on me because I stay up doing other stuff. Before it was I was staying up because I just couldn't go to bed. Now it's just like I go to bed right now, turn on my phone and turn on my camera and it's just like sleeping. It's changed so much. It went from like to like it's peaceful. I go to sleep and I'm just like 
I, I don't wake up to the next morning. Now let's talk about my appetite and cravings. My appetite, when I first started this journey, I was eating way too much. Stuff in my face and I was just eating because I was so hungry and I was craving stuff that I was just eating and eating and eating. But I wasn't forcing myself. I was just hungry. Get it away from me. <laughs> I started getting cravings because I love that pizza. I feel like it's probably going to take about a month for my body to like get used to it. But I, I don't force myself to eat. I've done it in the past. Horrible experience. Now I've noticed that my appetite has gone down a little bit. Like I eat less. I still eat a lot, but I eat less than the first couple of weeks. I never force myself to eat. I never force myself to eat less or anything like that. What I just did, I was just like, I'm gonna let my body do the work and I'm just gonna eat and I'm gonna stop when it's full. So that's what I've been doing for the past two months. My body has been adapting itself now and I've been having less cravings as well. On the first couple of weeks, I was just like, I want chips, I want chips, I want this, I want like junk food and stuff like that. And now my body is just like, Okay, like I don't get cravings anymore. Uh, I haven't gotten cravings lately, but if I do get cravings, I'll let you guys know they're gone for right now. And I hope they stay like that. <laughs> so I haven't done anything different. I've just let my body heal itself pretty much and do the work. And I've just been eating, exercising, and letting my body detoxify, clean itself. And last but not least, I'm gonna talk about my weight because everyone is always asking about my weight. I do not weigh myself at all. I haven't weighed myself in four years. People ask me this all the time. How much weight have you lost? I, I don't, I don't know. I haven't weighed myself in four years. I'm not gonna weigh myself. That's not something that I find motivating. I did lose like three to five sizes on my waist. Obviously I do feel lighter when I wake up in the morning. I look lighter. I've seen myself and I have pictures that I'm gonna show you. This is weird for me to be making, but I have to do it. I have no motivation anymore. But, okay, I'm gonna show you a little bit of myself. I'm not gonna take my shirt off, because that's embarrassing already. I did gain a lot of weight. These fuckers came back and they're no fun when you're a man. I just feel thinner. I feel thinner than the day one. I just feel wonderful. I mean, that's all I have to say about my weight. Yeah, everything's disappearing. All the fat's going away. <laughs> It's not all completely gone. I still have some belly that I need to get rid of, but for two months, I'm really happy with the results. That's all I have to say tonight, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I know I feel like I talked too fast because I was too excited, or I'm always too excited. That's why I talk too fast. I do have like a thick accent sometimes, or all the time. But, <laughs> but this is it for tonight, guys. And I appreciate all the love and all the support you guys leave on my comment section. It really means a lot to me. I know I say that every time, but thank you. I'll see you guys tomorrow in day 61. Adiós.